Time, you know, learning, learning all the moves, and because it, it wasn't really. It, this, this is a strange. It's, it's not an oxymoron, but it's, um, it, it wasn't cool to act cool in in, the, in those times. You know, you, you had to wear something a little bit garish to to be to be noticed, uh, and ultimately, you know, the the the, the costumes, uh, especially with Shu Oriwai, went very much with that era, which was largely glam rock. And as I said, it was all about shelves. It was, it was all who could out bling each other. And, uh, and we came along with our, as it was, as we were once uh, described as a, a, an explosion in a paint factory. And, and it, um, it, it went along with the music. You know? <laughs> and and, and it, it was an incredible era, actually, for, for live music. You know, we gadgetry uh, w was coming along uh, you, you, know, you know and people were, were just beginning to use sort of uh, dry ice and all that kind of stuff and and yeah. special sort of very lights and, uh, and loads and loads of stuff and we we tried everything we had explosions going on and dry ice everywhere and you know disappearing up, up, up our own backsides almost you know? <laughs> but but the, those experimental times were uh, were, were really Pretty amazing in the 70s. And, and, and you look back at, at some of the old footage from that era now. And it, it, you know, it was um, for live music. It was a really special era. And, you know, the birth of people like Springsteen and, you know, some great performing artists. And, um, you know, I, I, I'd like modern music. I'd like to see more performers now. You know, there is still some great music around, but you know, there aren't enough performers that really make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. There's a fantastic video interview of um, Frank Zappa. Remember the 60s, you know, that era that a lot of people, you know, have these glorious memories of, which they really weren't that great those years. But one thing that did happen during the 60s was some music of an unusual or experimental nature did get recorded and did get released. Now look at who the executives were in those companies at those times. Not hip young guys. These were cigar chomping old guys who looked at the product that came and said, I don't know. Who knows what it is? Record it, stick it out of it, sells, all right. We were better off with those guys than we are now with the supposedly hip young executives, you know, who are making the decisions of what people should see and hear in the marketplace. These, the young guys are more conservative and more dangerous to the art form than the old guys with the cigars ever were. And you know how these young guys got in there? The old guy with a cigar one day goes, ah, well, I took a chance. It went out and we sold a few million units. All right, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, we got to do more of it. I need some advice. Let's get a hippie in here. So they hire a hippie. They bring in a guy with the long hair. Now, they're not going to trust them to do anything except carry coffee, and bring the mail in and out. He starts in there. Let's carry the coffee. Well, we can trust him. He brought the coffee four times on time. Let's give him a real job. Okay, he becomes an A&R man. From there, you know, moving up and up and up. Next thing you know, he's got his feet on the desk. And he's saying, well, we can't take a chance on this because it's just simply, that's not what the kids really want. And I am, and I know, you know, and they got that attitude. And the day you get rid of that attitude and get back to who knows? Take a chance, you know, that, that entrepreneurial spirit where even if you don't like or understand what the record is that's coming in the door, the person who is in the executive chair may not be the final arbiter of taste of the entire population, you know? <laughs> the space, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And so therefore, along came all these psychedelic artists and, 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 and he said, and then after that, they went too serious, and, and the, the, the sort of cigar-smoking guys yes. at the... The man with the big cigar, yeah. 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 Well, they were lawyers, of course. Yeah, of course. Now, now, nowadays, it's, it's all pushing numbers.